But guys, we're about to talk about the whole Adam Calhoun and Ryan Upchurch beef right now. You know a little bit about it. I know you watched some of my video coverage of it, right? You know that Ryan called out Adam, right? Adam has not stepped to the dance floor yet. He's just yeah, throwing out a bunch of like, why would, no, this <laughs> That's what you thought of as soon as you heard dance? That's the only song, like, I could say, like, since it's beef going on right now. No, nah, that's, the only that's th- way, way different. I way only, different than that. I thought it beef, I can't. No, no, you don't really got to think of which beef you could do. think about yeah. this. Because that, that song has horrible implications. And I don't think anyone in this scenario has those. Okay, then. I'm well, thinking wait, B, B well, line. I'm no, don't say, why you got to wait the four, four. Is that a better? No, no, you, no lines, nigga. You don't got to think of any rap lines. It's beef, though. Pause. No freaking, no homo, no ditty. But why do you have to think of a song for beef? I don't understand that. All right, there's a time for everything, my brother. Yes. And right now it's beef time, so we need to. We need to. Uh, uh, this nigga said it's beef time. It's it's it's, it's an anthem. It's an anthem. It is his first place. It's not beef time. Hey, 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 yo! Oh! Oh! Y'all, y'all ain't like it? No, no. freaky no homo, no diddy. Freaky ass nigga. You a 69 guy. I knew. I, I knew you was a 69 guy. <laughs> yo, what does that even mean? What? Since you got me thinking about this Kendrick Lamar, Jay, let's sidebar. What the hell does 69 guy mean? Oh. I just said that, Jay. It sound funny. Anyway. No Kendrick. Now niggas gotta say no Kendrick whenever they knock trying to come at somebody. No Kendrick. Uh, but Ryan Upchurch, he uh, called out Adam Calhoun. Adam Calhoun. The niggas gotta say no Drake for not being offended, so they don't feel offended. That was like five minutes later, and I was in the middle of explaining stuff. <laughs> he gotta say no Drake. Well, I would rather that for than what people been using no Drake. <laughs> I, would, I would rather that, uh, honestly. Um, if, if, with not being sensitive, yeah, that fits. I think that no Drake, that is better. I think he's trying to make it seem like no Drake and no Diddy is the same thing, and I don't think so. But anyway, um, Adam Calhoun, he didn't want to step to the dance floor. He didn't want to battle. He just kept on with the threats. But now it's getting so bad that he's he's, he's even going out and threatening fans, saying that he's going to go to a show. That's what he said. He said he was going to go to a Ryan Upchurch show, right? And he was going to uh, apparently make him not want to get off the bus. He was going to make him not get off the tour bus. He was going to make Ryan be so scared that he wouldn't get off the bus. This nigga's out his damn mind, first of all. Well, I'm going to call this spade a spade. If I'm at that show, that's not happening. <laughs> just, I don't care what nobody said. Um, but just in general, I don't think Ryan is soft in any way, shape, or form and is going to be afraid of a nigga that's four foot two. Standing in front of your bus, talking about something. Man, come out here. He sure come out you. here. He's shorter than you. <laughs> he for sure is shorter than you, nigga. He's only four foot two. You ever seen Willy Wonka in the Chocolate Factory? That's how he come up in there. <laughs> Why I oughta? Why I oughta? Ain't nobody scared of this, nigga. I know. That's like always been his gimmick is to try to intimidate people because he's been to jail. You think he's tough because he's been to jail? That would make you tough, bro. Make Was he tough in the jail? No. Here's about the You know how you see you tough? We've got the people who are bigger than you and you go to get stuff. You ain't got nobody standing behind you or with you or beside you. You are alone there by yourself. That's how I say you a gangster or whatever you want to call it. I thought you was about to spit a freestyle, nigga. That was like an intro to, to the song Victim. Yeah. <laughs> Just remember what you said, actually. Might use that. But yeah, I don't think if that... I don't remember, we got it on here, right? Yeah, we got to record. We got to record. Like, when it comes to that, I don't <laughs> think... For one, if you're a musician, mm-hmm. why the hell are you trying to intimidate people because of their opinion on your music? Hold up, bro. You got you, you to gotta take a step further. Why, if I'm a musician, I'm intimidate another musician's fans? That's low. That's real low. Facts. 
Facts. I can understand if you're a Dallas Cowboy fan like me, one threaten me because I'm a Cowboy fan. But that right there is just trace. That's man. nuts. This is crazy. I think that's insane. Like, you're going to try to force people to like your whack ass country album? <laughs> Nobody like your whack ass country album. Nigga, that's it's trash. My ears was bleeding. Fuck. I played it for my mom. She refused to talk to me. She ain't talked to me since. Fuck. 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 He's trash. Like, all he got is let me try to intimidate people to like me. All his songs, I can guarantee. One time I said, Yeah, I bet y'all he gonna say he gonna slap somebody on this. The nigga said it five times. Is I was like, every time tactic though. Yes. Hmm. Elaborate though. I you know how you go to high school and it's like everybody's scared of the girl, but she's really actually beautiful, but she's she's tall. She's kind of looking, you know what I'm saying? But niggas don't know how to approach her, but she wants to be approached. So she said, you know what, fuck, I'm going to be, yo, what's up? Uh, that's how she did it? That's how that shit. Oh, uh, snap. Uh, how you doing? That's how my wife got me. Yo, what's up? Uh, <laughs> she walked up on you like a gangster. Uh, she said, I like what I see. Uh, and that's how it was. I was stuck with my wife. Was, how you doing? Uh, uh, you Okay. I thought I had a different reaction. I'd be like, ma'am, ma'am, please don't talk to me like I'm a piece of meat. Shit. Like she was about to just throw your ass on You coming with me, nigga. And you just like, ah. Yo. <laughs> Yo, that would be a funny ass skit, nigga. You just drag your ass like just, oh yeah. That's how fine you was. That's what you're trying to tell him. Trying to tell him. He said, yo, look, I'm a hot commodity in these streets. Tell him. Tell him, hey, it runs in the blood, man. Runs in the family. I be trying to chill. Tell him, I got a haircut. People lose their mind. No, nah, I'm joking. Oh, but when it comes down to going home, him threatening fans is, is nuts. Him threatening the artists, too, is crazy. Man, what? Just rap, dude. People want to hear music. Right. And you want to do a diss song. I think this is his my theory. I think he's so afraid to battle Ryan Upchurch that he's trying to intimidate him with physical altercation instead of rapping because he knows he can't out rap Ryan Upchurch. That's my personal opinion. And I don't even hate Adam Calhoun. I just think that he needs to stop with all the slap slap talking. Or maybe you can do a slap slap talk, but just do it on a song, nigga. How about that? You don't intimidate people. You like 50. This nigga is old, bro. He old as hell, trying to scare people into liking his music. That's crazy. He, he, he what? If people don't like the new stuff, they don't like the new stuff. You can't force someone to. And then he wants to fight the fans because he wasn't allowed backstage. Yeah. Shit pay more money, dude. <laughs> right, get a backstage pass, nigga. How about that? You think you could just walk in? You so thugged out. How come you couldn't get in anyway? I want to get in. No one's stopping me. You so thugged out. You should get that buddy, break your ass up against a BX. Facts, tough guy. My brother would love to meet you. You seen how they were shaking last time I said that? Oh! It was crazy. <laughs> but they terrified to come to the Bronx. Scared. Tough guys. All right? You want to invite me to their warehouse? No, nigga. I know ain't no clothes going to be there. You get your clothes made in China. Damn, you see, see what you got? No, man, come on, man. Don't, let, don't scare him off. Don't scare him off, man. Don't scare him. See what you, you got him doing? You're going to scare the hell out of him, man. Adam is soft, nigga. I'm trying to, t- I'm trying to tell you. Just the sight of the hands, nigga. Remember I, t- I showed you a video with him getting his eye blocked? You don't remember that I showed you that? He put that up. I, got, I can't show it on here now. I'll show you after. I thought I showed you that. Well, he, he, he saw him on some, yo, man, the guy snuck in. They showed the video. They threw hands. Caught him with a good one. Let me, let's break down. Um, let's destroy the falsehood and build on the truth of what's a sneak. A sneak is somebody sidelining you or coming from the back or you have no, or you have no recollection of they're about to hit you. That's a sneak. A sucker punch. You can't be face to face, but it's unexpected. Thank you. If we're just like talking, I'm just like, man, I ain't got no back out. That's a sucker punch, which might be good in certain cases, depending. But <laughs> overall, that wasn't. Did. It was like he was walking towards him saying, let's fight. Let's fight. Come on with his hands up. And the dude rocked you. 
And I learned this, I learned this in day one-on-one sparring. Don't let the, the opponent get his confidence in that fight. Once you get confidence, it starts to build and build. It doesn't matter if he hits you, touched you with the punch or not. If them shits keep on going, he going to get the, oh, my shit's going to land one time. And that one time, it may be kaput for you. That one time gave Adam a black eye. <laughs> And once I gave him, we should have been doing all that jujitsu he be talking about. That nigga barely trained, probably. Nigga said jujitsu. I wonder what his rank is in Brazilian jiu jitsu. Shit, my daddy <laughs> but... Somebody asked why I'm bald. That's because your mama stopped tripping and finally sent me my money. And she liked it like this. Why are you nut hugging? <laughs> I'm joking. I'm joking. Paquito. Uh, but yeah, you said I'm all about people doing blank as they wish, but Adam was into some heavy. I do think that he might have been on some of that stuff. I don't know that to be certain. I don't know that for sure. But I, it, it do seem like he was on that stuff, nigga. I'm a certified doctor. And I can- you are not a certified doctor and you cannot certify that at all. He ain't going to get me in trouble. He could not certify that. I don't know that for certain. It just seemed. <laughs> like, <laughs> he should watch it down too quick. Yeah. He's a yeah, not man. a certified doctor. You know, nigga, they take that shit serious sometimes, bro. I, I helped myself, didn't I? So no, I, I, you're I, not a doctor. I helped myself. You ain't going to get me in trouble. I had it. I, <laughs> you ain't going to get me banned for trying to prescribe some shit. Nope. I was gonna prescribe we ain't shit. Diagnosing, we ain't doing none of that. I ain't prescribing shit. How's my audio too, by the way, guys? Is the mic good? Is it clicking, popping, or is it good? Let me know. But yeah, man, I don't think nobody is scared of this dude. Wasn't Adam like screaming? Oh, I thought she was passing too. Oh, Steve. Wasn't Adam like screaming in the video? He would beat up the dude while running away. Yes. Yes. The niggas was backing up for five minutes. Hey, yo, remember that skit? Fuck your cousin, fuck your cousin. Hey, what up, Floyd? What happened? I'm his cousin. Fuck your cousin. <laughs> For the people that don't know what he's talking about, I barely knew. He's talking about an old King Batch skit. Yeah. If I'm not mistaken. King Batch skit. What King Batch and um, Day Storm. Yeah. He was talking about... Oh, but let's not switch the topic too my heavy, fault, bro. My fault. My fault. I know what you're talking about. I'm gonna say he, you said he ran. Why you say I'm gonna kick your ass? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's that, that 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 that's priceless. That's his style. That's his style. I'm gonna kick you. Hundred percent. He talks a lot of tough game. You supposed to be ready to fight. I'm gonna kick your ass and then get knocked out. I don't know about that. I don't think he I'm can not do saying it. that happened to me. I didn't said that. Got it on. I don't anyway. think he can fight, bro. I, I truly don't believe it. Yeah, yeah. I think I've been on that trying to end it to you for like two minutes now. I don't think he um That's why you don't put a quarterback. Can fight. This is crazy. That's why you ain't a receiver. <laughs> you got the right, nigga. I ain't catching shit. Pause. No freaky, no homo. No 69 guy. Definitely not shit. But yeah, I don't I don't think this dude's intimidating anybody. Audio is fine. Appreciate you guys. I don't like the whole talking tough on the internet stuff. I'm not a fan of it. I'm not a fan of it. I'm not even condoning violence, but like, what, who are you trying to prove it to? How old you got to be for you to say, let me not yell gangster shit on the internet in order to try to scare people. How old you got to be before you get mature, nigga? It's where it's not like it's that big of a deal for people to not like your music. Also take it to a step, but what if one of his fans, the man he's saying he's going to kick his ass, one of his fans for some type of way and like, yo, I'm gonna get back for him. You cooking? You cooking? You feel See? me? So you're not, you're not, you're not thinking. That's a possibility. You put yourself as a target. Not saying I, I would wish that or even condone it, but if you saying because he didn't just say f you, he said f your fans as well, f the entire Creek Squad, right? Which is what Ryan Upchurch goes to support as well as you know, Holler Boys, Holler Girls, things of that nature. He has like a bunch of name for the crew. For the supporters. But yeah, if he's saying all your supporters, what if you go to a show and a up church supporters, they're like, yo, so what's up? You said F me, what's good? And you gotta stand on that tough shit. No, he's gonna what he is gonna say, I wasn't personally talking about you. That's what he is nah, gonna say. Let me tell you the next part. 
there's like some content creator that was on there talking to him and he's yelling at him. He was a fan of Upchurch. He eventually tells him like, yo, man, I'm a, you know, I ain't worried about this. I'm gonna go to work. Adam Calhoun starts making fun of him having a job. Yeah, you ain't got nothing. That's why, that's why you hate me because you got to go to work. Then you got to go to work too. What the fuck you mean? He's working a job where he's rapping or doing content. He's making fun of the fact that certain people have to do jobs like this more physical where they got to go to, which is disgusting to me. That's disgusting. His whole music is, is more so based on going against the establishment and saying, hey, I rock with the people for nine to five. But then now you're making fun of and threatening people that have nine to fives and saying like making it as if they're not as good as you. I'm going to say this. Yeah, you have to, you have to look at it. Yeah. He told him the to S is D. That's what he told Creek Squad. He said, all his fans can S my D. My bad. Continue. Oh, he loved that. I, I had Creek Squad a lot. Yeah, I would definitely move to Memphis, Tennessee. You said what? <laughs> I say, look, like, I ain't one of them. I would definitely with Illinois and Tennessee, and we would get an all. Well, but in the video game, in the video game, but also the fact that, nigga, especially if he's Mr. Jail, man, he should know that that's fighting words in general. He should know that when you say that, you have, nigga, it gotta be a showdown after that, nigga. That's like slapping someone. You gotta fight after that. In a video game, you're not saying that we condone it or even encourage it. You're not saying that we will. It's too, it's too weird. Some people may have. You got two individuals that some dudes ain't going in the cell and seeing you. Some dudes going handle it right there on the floor. And y'all both going to the hall. So pretty much they're going to scrap on site, which is why you shouldn't be telling people's whole entire fan bases to S your D and to F y'all, y'all pussy. I'm a fan of Upchurch. And yet, and yet, I ain't pussy. And your car ain't going to help you because that one, and people don't understand this is wrong. Yeah, he going to get beat up. It's just that that, that man that said that is going to get beat up. So he going to be like, yo, he bit me. He did this to me. Oh, my God. He said he bit me. That's crazy. It, yeah, I got, yeah, I got beat up. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I got beat up. Guess what? You still got my bite my right? That's just like Plies. When Plies disrespected that one fan and that one fan threw him on his neck. I don't... Yo, that's crazy. I haven't heard about that. But see, that's the risk that you run when you just talk crap. That, I don't know why he thinks he's super thug right now. This nigga like 50. He got to chill. Got to chill. I'm not even saying that as a hater. I just think that it's not that damn serious. Do a song, bro. Diss him. Give him some bars, nigga. Unless you can't and you just want to like try to intimidate people. I'm, I'm not scared. <laughs> I don't think nah, I'm church is scared. About, like the creep squad. Oh, your fizz. They like my fizz. The voted. I, 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 woot, 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 about the Dude, stuff like that. Some of his fans were the same fans, bro. I lied it. Cause remember he was kissing up church ass in order to get, to get to a certain level. Yeah. When other people wanted to be for up church, he would try to step up. Like, no, you got to step against me. I'm the defender. So now you're talking all this crazy stuff is because you feel like you don't need Upchurch or his fans anymore. You forgot who helped you get there, who was watching your videos, who was buying your music, right? A lot of people was messing with you through association of Upchurch. Not saying that you don't got your own individual fans, but come on, dude. You know that that joint intersects. Oh, so he, he, uh, he buy that, the head that helped put a board. Yes. Damn. If I, That's exactly what he's doing. I say if. I go ever do that. I do that. We gotta square up. You gotta see me. Oh, for sure. We 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 gotta we got we got some of that shit. We throwing them hands for sure. We, we, we got to. for sure. We, we got to. I need my five <laughs> minutes at least. <laughs> at least. Yeah, like ten. Like I'm ten. a day by ten. I'm a day by ten. I, but do I don't think you would ever do no shit like that. I'm highly confident. Niggas. But that's different. Like we was brothers before this internet stuff, right? So. That's the risk. A lot of people will pretend to be cool with you just so they can use your, your base, right? My supporters have seen people do that to me before. People pretend that they love BX Beast Boy just so they can start getting a little bit of viewership or get some kind of fans because they're starting from scratch. And I, I hate it. And it's easy to see. That's why I don't really be doing collabs like that. And I would rather collab with, with my brother than just collab with a bunch of people I don't know because I don't know if the love is real. I know my supporters rock with me, mm. right? Like, and that's why I say when if I know that my supporters intersect with some like other 
YouTuber, I let it be known too. I don't tell people who to watch or who to support. You don't have to choose. It don't, it don't have to be a choice, right? It ain't either or. You can watch both of us. I'm here to entertain. But if somebody do me grimy, <laughs> Like, I'm a lawyer as fuck, but you don't have to choose. Not just right. I would just hope no one did me around me. But I don't think people have to choose. Watch what you want to watch. He is blatantly putting that land in uh, I said that land, the line in the sand and telling people, is either me or up church? I, I'm here to tell you, Adam. A lot of people gonna choose up church <laughs> because for what he's not demanding, right? That people have to listen to him and only him. He's not demanding content creators. Uh, like how the, they deliver content and what to talk about or who to speak about, right? He's not demanding fans like bum rush backstage. So he's <laughs> allowed to go to your uh, backstage section like that. He's not demanding fights. He ain't threatening fans. He's not making fun of people that work nine to fives, right? Upchurch is actually doing the opposite. He's supporting the fans. He's supporting the up and coming. Nigga, I've been on YouTube for a long time, nigga, with a lot of people hating me. Upchurch is one of the first few people that was like, you doing your thing. <laughs> like, I see you. You killing it. You repping for independence. And I will always appreciate that. Facts. Right? I ain't no Adam Calhoun ass nigga. Right? Shout but you, song too. you said, yeah, come on. And what? You know how big that is? Right? I'm a fan. Like no one, no one else ever put. I am yo fam. Ye never put me on his song. Uh, like Donald Glove, Chatters Gambino never did that. Up Church did that. Of all the people I'm fans of, that's a big deal, right? Because he's that type of person. I ain't the only one. This dude buying houses and giving them away, giving away cars and shit, just doing just out the kindness of his heart because that's just who he is. He's really anti-establishment. He's not one of those people that say it. And that's not really about it, right? So it's like, you can see the proof in the pudding of who's real and who's like really about that ish. Oh, I sure wish Adam Cowell would come and talk to me like that. Man. I wish he would come on my, my channel and try to talk that ish. Pull up. Pull you know, up. You know what I'm going to say? Hey, yo, Fo, try the location. Yeah, apparently he was trying to drop his location to some <laughs> other YouTuber that's kissing his ass now. He's the best of friends. And allegedly, allegedly, because I don't know this to be confirmed, but I did receive messages of possible threats from Adam Calhoun. I just ruled it as it's fake. Oh. I was just like, yeah, this is fake. If you can't who, show me like... Who threatened you? <laughs> allegedly. Adam Calhoun said I'm on site. Allegedly. Yeah, you, you know that we would have... No, 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 no. So we ain't got to no, that's cool. It's cool. We're gonna stay in guidelines, it's fine. Hey, yeah, you're gonna stay in God's lines. You better stay in God's lines on this moment. Hey, yeah, man, 100 percent Hey, yeah. man, see me when you see me, Adam. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. You can be you can pull up. And did you give me the same type of energy you gave that other content creator when you was throwing addresses and saying he's gonna pull up? Feel free, my nigga. Like if see me at if I go to a concert, feel free to approach me. I'm uh, a pleasure to be around. I'm a nice guy. So please, please pull up by all means. But no one's afraid of you. I don't I don't think anybody is. And stop using your son to threaten people, nigga. Yeah, you know, I was doing martial arts before that nigga was born. Yeah, <laughs> fuck that nigga, bro. He gonna put his son his old beef man. Fuck that nigga, bro. He pussy. Yeah, he a bitch. Um, and that's not even personal. That's just how I feel about like the overall for my Way of seeing it. Yeah, he's he's a punk. He's a, he really be sending, trying to send his son on people. Yeah, I, I, I wish my son would become a grown man. Like, yeah, be okay. Yeah, you sit your little fucking ass down. You should be trying to keep him out of that stuff. But obviously, you can see this nigga's like 50 Yo, bro, over there trying to. Bro, what is wrong? With, what, is, what is wrong with parents nowadays, bro? If I ever get like that, I ain't saying I will slap the shit out of me. I'm talking about bitch. I karate like, chop you. I, no, I'm talking about, you know how. Oh, my karate chop is me. You know how uh, you know how you know, you know how Jerome slapped Franklin in in in, in, in the uh, in the uh, in the deli. Yeah. He said, "You ain't wow." He said, "Motherfucker." So you want a backhand? Wow. Huh? I, 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 I said, "Damn, he slapped Franklin okay. twice." With the they might not know what you're talking yeah. about, though. They might not know what you're talking about. Go uh, go watch um, 
Snowfall. I forgot which season it is. It's the last season. It's the last season. Jerome slaps the shit out of Franklin with the. It's a. Uh, they don't. The all right, all right, all right. We don't got. We, you going too deep into it? Just watch the show. It's a good show. It's funny. I was actually talking about that my yesterday. Man, my man. No, no, it's fine. It's fine. I don't want to turn it into a snowfall segment. I'm a fan of snowfall, but I hate the way it ended. So uh, we could talk about that a whole other time. Um, but yeah, speaking of snowfall, Adam, it seemed like you was on that stuff. Lay off of it. Calm down. Stop threatening people. <laughs> Nobody's afraid of you. Like, no, but I promise you not a soul is actually afraid of you in real life. God damn. Not for real. Like, He's no dead. one <laughs> is afraid of you. I just want you to know that. Like, from the bottom of my heart. From the he heart. Said, he said like heart. he was on something. Or he had something. The way you say, like, he had a disease. Or he was on No, I'm, I'm not saying problems. that, brother. No, the way you said it. The way he's like, I'm not saying that. Of it, I'm or, not saying or, I'm, or, I'm saying exactly what I said, or, nigga. Or get some treatment for it. Right. No, I'm scared. not saying that at all. And I'm not insinuating that. I said exactly what I'm saying. It seemed like he was on that stuff. He need to lay off of it if that's true. That's what I'm saying. I'm not saying you got no, no, no. Don't try to get me Tasha Cade. <laughs> no, thank you. That's what Who you got sued for. Who's you Tasha Cade? Tasha K was the, the the YouTuber that was beefing with Cardi B. That got sued and owes Cardi B like $50 million because she was saying you got a disease. Wow. That's why you can't play those games, nigga. I'm not saying so that. I, I it that. don't sound like I said that at all. It sounds like I said exactly that it looked like you could be possibly on some stuff. And if that is true, you should lay off it. I want to be exact. <laughs> I want to be a hundred percent exact, but that's my opinion. You want to close your thoughts on Adam Cowan? Threatening people? Close your thoughts on him? Like advice for him? You want to give it to him? The fuck around to find out. Come up oh, and shit. The, the crazy part is, I don't know if you know that that was a bar you just did just now. That's crazy. One of his last songs called F around and find out. That's, I don't think he was even aware of that. That's wild. I didn't even know that. That's a bar. <laughs> that was a bar you just gave him. 100%.